Uh, thank you for everyone here. And uh, yeah, uh, now it's uh, it's two forty, and uh, let's begin this session. Uh, I know many of you are just uh, sit here and uh, and waiting for Greg Cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm too. Yeah, I'm I'm waiting for him too. Yeah, but I have a, a better a better a better position here. And uh, yeah, uh, it's my great honor to to come back again. Yeah, five years five years ago in Shanghai and the KubeCon and uh, Open Source Summit China, I have an an uh, English topic there, and it's it's about the the secure container technologies. Um, right now, five years uh, five years uh, later, yeah, I have another topic about. Uh, about the open source governance, yeah, <laughs> pretty strange topic, yeah. Uh, let me let me have a, a short, a not so short introduction for myself. Yeah, uh, if you just, if you want to wait for Greg Cage, uh, just uh, just omit it. Uh, here's my brief experiences. Um, from 2015, I I run the open source startup. Uh, called Hyper.sh, and also we have a project called RunV, and maybe you don't know that. And uh, then in 2017, we have a, a project open in Open Infra Foundation called Kata Containers. You know, that this picture is the most famous pic picture in this project's history uh, so far, and uh, maybe uh, from the beginning to the end. Uh, and the, the the one in the middle is, is me, yeah. with some, actually that's a rib. Yeah. And uh, when the, the Kata become a, an a graduated project, and also for the for the five years uh, five years uh, celebration, they also they, they every time they put this picture here, and uh, with me. So you think I. I'm so la so love this this rib. Yeah. So it's not a chicken chicken leg. And uh, yeah, after that, in 2000, 2019, and uh, I come I come to to uh, to the Ant Group. Actually, uh, the whole team of of Hyperdog is SH is acquired by Ant Group, and we become part of of them, and uh, we, we become a, a small team in Ant Group, and yeah, working on an open source project. And uh, last year, I become a, a, a vice chair of the Ant Ant o Open Source uh, Technology Committee. Uh, so I'm. Um, from a manage a open source project and run a startup to manage the open source open source affairs for the for the for a big bigger companies. So I can share uh, that that's really a special a special experiences, you know. So someone is love to to hear some stories here, and uh, yeah. This topic will will split to two parts, and the the first part is the the from part, and the second one is the is the two part. The from part is about operating a, a foundation project as a uh, technical uh, startup, and the second part is about in 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 a in a big corporate, uh, big uh, to govern. Cover about the open source governance, yeah. And the first part is about our startup, the, the Hyperdog SH and the Kata Containers project. And the second part is about the, uh, the open source, yeah. So uh, about about half an hour ago, and yeah, Hong Hui there, he, he asked me, you know, the, the aunt spent so, many, so much money about open source, right? Actually, just just we we are more active than others. Okay, the first part. The first part is about to go to a found uh, go to a foundation. And actually, when we run the the startup, and about the 2000, 2016, and we have a. We have run, we have run a small project and uh, called Run V and uh, 
make the integration with Kubernetes. At that time, the Kubernetes is, is far from the material as, uh, nowadays. Actually, um, at that time, we participate the, the CRI part, uh, CRI interface, and uh, we contribute most of the CRI code. And uh, yeah, um, but one potential customer, he actually he he's in uh, uh, in. Uh, Telecom, uh, is telecom company, and uh, he management the, the cloud part of the of the company, and he he told us we won't use uh, use the technologies from s such a startup like, like you because we we don't know maybe maybe you will will be acquired by others, yeah. <laughs> and maybe you will close the product. It's we we don't we, we couldn't have a, a long term support for the for the for the small uh, for the. Ob for the project from such a small small company, so you you should go to a foundation and uh, make the the project become a foundation project. Then we we can adopt it, and we maybe we, we will purchase your your support plan. And uh, yeah, that's interesting. So we go to uh, actually we we have some we some we have some collaboration with the the Open OpenStack Foundation at that time. And also, we talked with the, the CNCF at that time. And uh, after that, I think in 2017, as a, uh, in September 2017, in in San Francisco, I met uh, I met Ahmed Soso from Intel. He managed the uh, the OT, Intel OTC. And uh, when, when I talked with him, and he he suggested why why don't uh, merge our two product to one, just like I say the the clear containers and run v, and then it becomes the uh, becomes the Kata containers now, and uh, yeah, uh, and the story after we launch Kata containers it's quite different uh, from uh, because uh, before before the Kata containers. Uh, we we just have a run v from from our our hyperdo sh and the clear containers from intel and uh, others don't think that's a category they only think that that's an individual project but when we announced the the color containers and after that uh, in the in the open infra foundation after that um, about uh, i think we we announced color containers in December 2017, and then uh, the next year's uh, KubeCon Europe in Copenhagen, uh, the Google Google launched the Gvisor product. As about I think that's April April 2018, and then in the uh, in the maybe November 2018 in in Las Vegas, the the reinvent Google, uh, AWS announced the Firecracker project. Then people, all the all the community think this this is a category and this is real demands on the secure container projects. So uh, there are they change change many things. Yeah, here I will I will have a have a example about the the stream v two of the of the Kata containers. Yeah, um, the technology. Technology part and the architecture part is not important here because we are, we are in about the open source governance. Uh, but you just uh, just look at the picture and in the before the Shimmy two the the other part we have so many so many components. And one one block is uh, is about a, a process in the in your operating systems. There are one oh my god. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, five, six, and uh, actually, every containers will have uh, have a, a shim and two shims. So there are so many two n and uh, uh, yeah, so many, so many, so many, so many uh, process. That's not about your your application. It's just uh, some shim, you know, shim. Yeah, and. When the when the Shim, Shim V2 announced, we combine all this all this process into the single one. Yeah, and this need to change the the container D, the change change its APIs because the the original container D is have a have an assumption that each container is a 
<laughs> it's a it's a process have a PID in the host, so we cannot use this uh, one one single process here. We must have a shim here that connect with this shim by the container D, and after they have this interface, and so we can have. Uh, much more elegant architecture. This all com come from the from the community. Actually, uh, the the Don Don Chen from Google's Node team have this idea, and uh, this is a. Uh, uh, I think if if I recall correct, this this interface is is contributed by Michael Crosby. And from the from Docker at that time, I'm not quite sure. And uh, yeah, the first uh, he also write the first implementation of Shim V2 for Docker and uh, for Container D uh, for for, for C. And uh, the Container D Shim Shim V2 is is uh, written from by our team. And uh, yeah, if we are we are not. Uh, we are not a foundation project. We just uh, a, a small startup uh, working in the in the corner of the community. Nobody will, will contribute this this interface for us and uh, for for other similar projects. Only when we when we put it in the, into the community, the will ch the change will will happen. Yeah. So that's that's why why I say uh, the. To put projects into the into the uh, into a foundation and become a community governed project is important. Yeah, if you if you only a, a small company uh, a small company or maybe maybe bigger one, and uh, you just uh, write your own project and uh, play with yourselves, you cannot have have this change happen. And uh, yeah. Um, the second lesson I want to say is about um, the contributor. When you have a when you have a open an open source project, you want want to have others contribute to your 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 project and make make it become a popular one. But why why people want to contribute to your project? Yeah. F from my from my point of view, if I an I am an individual visual individual uh, contributor, or maybe from another company, why I contribute code to your project? Uh, the only the short answer should be it's my own project. Yeah, so make your project become others uh, become all the all the contributors thinks thinks this is my project. They they will they will contribute to you. And uh, yeah, it's it belongs to other contributors as well. And uh, here I want to have a, an example. It's Seth, you know, uh, if if some of you work on the distributed uh, storage system, you you must have known the Seth project. Yeah, it works as a uh, as block. Deep block storage and it uh, as object storage it's also for the uh, file system uh, distributed file system and uh, yeah it have the uh, it it is used in many many uh, uh, open stack installations for the for the elastic block devices and uh, device service and also for the for the for the NFS and for the for the object store, yeah. And you know, the Safi actually it's it's popular not only because that's uh, impl implemented efficient, efficiently. Actually, uh, yeah. If I recall correct, this this project uh, when the before before we have. We have self project. We we also we always use some some giga uh, gigabit Ethernet for for your uh, for your private cloud. Maybe two gigabits, uh, two two gigabit Ethernet for uh, for for a bound. But when you use the self after after we have self, we always need the ten gigas. <laughs> so actually, I don't I don't think that that's. Because it's high performance, it's because everyone need a 
project like Scythe because someone need a, a block storage and others need uh, the object store and the others need uh, maybe maybe file system. They all need a, such a uh, such a such a distributed f f uh, distributed storage system, and the Ceph is quite suited for you for your own, and you contribute for it. And uh, your your idea is on the blueprint of this project. So, so if you want to if you want to build a community community project, think about Ceph. You you should you should let others in and uh, have their have their ideas in your project and implement the, them and then this project will, will have more contributors here so that's about the uh, projects of the uh, run uh, run and uh, community uh, community projects and uh, now let's become uh, go into the second half of the, of the of the of the topic uh, now think about you run an OSPO in a bigger company, or maybe you, you work as the CTO of the company, and you have an OSPO report to you, and uh, not only run one open source and for the for the startup. Uh, now think about why open why you run open source. Yeah, yeah. Think about it. it's a monopoly. Uh, just uh, I want here. I want to say uh, I talked with the the CTO of, of our company, and uh, we discussed this topic for actually for years. And um, you should you should run the you should manage your open source projects just like a VC and rather than a PM, not for the project ma management. Actually, you you put put the resource in the in the open source project. And for like a, like a venture, uh, you put money to the to the f in the product, and for the in the company, you put the the time of your develop development team and other resources in the in the product. Not only for the uh, for the short term short term return, but for the long term benefit. Um, just because if you put efforts on on the uh, on the open source, you cannot get feedback uh, instantly. Uh, actually, for other companies, um, this morning our team shared shared a picture with me. And that's about uh, a big com uh, a big sponsor of this of this event, the Dark Cloud. They have maybe more than more than ten speakers and track uh, and uh, topics in this conference they they talk with me how they get get revenue back from from this project and uh, i i didn't i didn't talk with with their ceos but yeah for the, for a company you cannot get instantly feed, instantly uh, money back from the open source so think it as as venture as a as a venture capital that will make make you feel better <laughs> and also you need to review the the not only about the pro progress of the of the product but also about the objectives for an open source project uh, it's commonly to to change the objectives not only change the the milestones, short milestone, and uh, yeah, that's open. It's open, open-ended, uh, because um, you will have others come in, and they they may have have new design and new blueprint and new goals for for the project. And either day zero, they they may work on on, some, on something like. Uh, just, just like the, the example of Ceph, uh, the day zero it want to build a uh, distributed file system, and uh, then it become popular for it could provide a, a provide a, the block device for for open stack for senior project. Yeah, uh, they they may they may change day by day. So that's the that's the the open source. It's not. You should not manage it as a as a PM and uh, set a, set goals and you ha you have to reach a goal in the in in three or six months and uh, you check you check it maybe maybe you will disappoint about disappoint about it and uh, yeah for the open source just like just like a VC maybe the project may failed uh, just like it's a yeah it's 
uh, as a joke because uh, when we announced the the Kata, uh, the, the Run V before Kata containers in 2015, actually the just in one week, Intel announced a similar project called Clear Containers. That's really terrible. My co-founder asked me a question for two years. Uh, are we are we doing things right? <laughs> are we doing the right things? Yeah, and uh, every every fr every friend asked me, uh, Intel have a similar project, and uh, why you have another one? That's not should not be a question for me. That's f for Intel. We have we have a project, and you announce another one that's similar to me. That's not my fault. But actually, uh, if we cannot have a uh, have a merge with the with the clear containers to Kata containers, maybe we should shut sh shut down it. Uh, that's uh, it's it will be a, a hard decision. But maybe that's open source because you you cannot control others' this decision. So, and the world change change fastly. So maybe you have to to shut down it. That's all very very close to 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 venture rather than to manage a project. And uh, so so that's the 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 view from the for the open source management in the in the big company. If you if you want to manage a product and have a have some feedback, have one in one year in a very very determined uh, object objectives that will will make your life really, really hard. And uh, yeah, uh, here's another lesson we we learn in the we learn in the in the run the open source in the in the company. Uh, yeah, it's about upstream first. Um, yeah, um, this this quote will yeah you you you're hearing this you you have already hear hear this this quote uh, I think for. Maybe 20 or 30 years upstream first, but I will say this is not only uh, about the spirit, but also for the software quality and the cost efficiency. And moreover, it's a. I will I will tell you if if you think some part will be a debate, and uh, make it happen as early as possible, uh, because uh, here just an example. Uh, this is not. Not related about some some debates. It's just to show you a, a this is a this is a part of an IP IP protocol header. Only about eight bits about the the type of service or say toss. And uh, I want to tell tell you the stories about some some flag uh, some protocol or something about the 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 flag a bit. If you have some something have a or have a you modify a, an open source project for the for the protocol part, you should make it upstream as soon as possible, because if you want to change such as this bit from zero to one, you should ask the ask the upstream. Let's let's about think think about to change this bit, and uh, maybe someone will tell you we want to use this bit for another things. Maybe you you should you should talk each other and have a, some debate, and uh, then you will get a win-win result if you talk with them as early as possible. But if you you didn't do this, you change this one in your own of tree patches, and uh, after you have a large a large deployment of the soft software in your company have maybe maybe 10,000 of node and then you try to upstream or maybe you you didn't you didn't you don't want to upstream it at all but the upstream have a upgrade they use this bit for another things that will be terrible so you you don't change your you can't change your software forever if you want to change, you want you need to modify many many application above it. So this story actually not about this about this bit, but the similar similar story happened in uh, many companies time by time, 
and you should learn about it to keep in mind if you want to if you want to change have things maybe have a debate maybe to change the protocol to change some definition make it in, happen in the upstream as early as possible don't wait you have a mature implementation and deployment in in your companies yeah that's a, that's a real le lesson we learned yeah and uh, also another lesson and the there is a question where is your project um, before you open opening your project to the you open your project to the community you think um, it's not an independent project in the world the open source is about connect with other with other projects you should have have the interaction interaction with other projects and the first thing is think about where is your project in the landscape and here is a uh, is a part of the uh, CNCF's landscape. I want to put a, put a whole landscape picture here, and I found it's too big for the, for this slide. And uh, so I have some uh, a small corner of the of the landscape. And you know the we have some we have some some topics. Our company have some have some topic about the the Dragonfly project. Um, maybe three, three topic about Dragonfly in in this in this event, and also one about the harbor, uh, yeah. And uh, here is an advertisement for the for the topics. <laughs> you can find them from the schedule. And uh, okay, back to our our lesson, yeah. And um, yeah, if we have the uh, if if you have a project, try to put it into the community, or you want to donate it to the, to the foundation. The first thing you, you should think about is, where is my project to put? And which project could become my upstream or downstream? Um, they could work with, with us. And actually, this, uh, we have some, some lesson, lesson here, and we have, uh, we have some, some project. Mm, the developer team make, make great efforts on the project, and uh, they open source, open source it and uh, put it in GitHub and uh, keep contribute to the project. But for years, they may, they may get some, some stars, stars here, but nobody want to use it, and nobody even know how to use it, just because you you didn't tell tell the others where is your project, and uh, you you didn't show them how your your project can work with others. This is if you if you run your project in as a as an open source open source business as a startup, you must solve this problem. Uh, you you must answer this question at the first. This is about the, uh, the, the fifth lesson, and uh, the sixth is the, about the, the last one, and uh, this is the, the new lesson I, I learned, I think, early this year. And uh, uh, someone told me, uh, asked me, you claim you contribute to open source, or our company con contribute to open source, but we have never seen your, guy, your guys in the com community. Why? And that's that's because you do your open source that like and uh, yeah but but you you do not do some social work you only do your open source project yourself and uh, actually you just move your uh, your company's uh, source source code repo to the to the GitHub but you didn't have the uh, have the com uh, connection with the with the upstream, and you didn't uh, play a role in the community. And uh, actually, uh, some of the the uh, the decision makers in the in the big companies try to have a have a very popular open source project in the community and uh, make make yourself become become a. a uh, 
become a superstar in the in the technology community. But it's really hard to make a, a project in the corner become become a superstar. Actually, you should go back to the com community first and uh, participate the the project in the in the central node and. Uh, because, because uh, just like Kubernetes, everyone use, yeah, everyone use Kubernetes, and uh, just just like this one, and uh, many 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 projects have connection with the Kubernetes. So, you use Kubernetes as well. You should contribute to the to the oh to the Kubernetes, yeah, and uh, and I feel I'm I'm really on uh, honor about that we have. This, this year we have a topic about the Kubernetes itself in, in, the, in this event. Uh, the the, the pre presenter is sit there, and uh, yeah, I think that's really important for the uh, for the big company to to participate with with the upstream project, not only open source your own project. Uh, that that what what I what I want to say, and uh, this this picture is generated in by our our own our open source our own source project <laughs> called OS Graph open open source graph. It's use a use a graph database called called to graph from from the from our group and uh, they use this about graph graph database to show the the graph the, the connection of the open source projects. Yeah, and uh, really interesting. And uh, so. And that's how the, all the six, the six license, uh, lessons I learned from the, uh, from the run the startup about the, the open source to uh, govern, govern the, the open source in a big company. And uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, time's up. So, so time is up, and uh, we can have a rest and wait for Greg Cage for his topics. And thank you, guys.